Yes! <laughs> Finally! Woo! Yeah! Yeah! All right! Woo! Come on, buddy! Yeah! Yeah! All right! Woo! 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 <laughs> wait, 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 why are we celebrating? Oh, after 10 long years, I finally did it! Did what? This! Hey! Whoa! Yeah, All right, go, it. John! Go, John! Go, John! <laughs> that is oh, awesome! Yeah, hey, you wanna try it? Oh, yeah! Come on, try okay. it! Okay. Okay. <laughs> Brandon! I'm sorry. <clears throat> Taking my horn. Uh, hello everybody. Welcome to the So-and-So Show. We're your hosts, John and Brandon, and we've got a great show f in store for you today. Isn't that right, Brandon? Yeah. Six. Are you even listening to me? Eight, yeah, I am. Oh, Ten, great, 11, 12, really. 12, 12. So you're okay with me shaving your entire head? Yeah, 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 it's a great idea, John. 14. <laughs> Brandon! What? Well, you're gonna make me lose count. Good! Good, no, it's not good. Yeah, it is. You just agreed to let me shave your entire head. What? That's right. No, no, you are definitely not allowed to shave my head. Yes, yes, I know that. I was just proving to you that you weren't listening. Why are you obsessing with that pile of dishes? They're not just dishes. They're dirty dishes. And there's so many. So? So I have to wash all of them. It's, it's gonna take forever. I don't think I can do it. Of course you can do it. Just wash one dish at a time and the pile will get smaller as you go. Uh-huh. One, two, three. Will you stop counting those dishes? I need to know how many there are. No. It's time for Take A Step, featuring you and your everyday problems. And here's your host, Cameron Maduski. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Cameron Maduski, and welcome to Take a step. Let's meet our contestants on the show today. Brandon here is feeling overwhelmed by this massive pile of dirty dishes. Can he get them done? You know, there's only one way to find out. It's time to play Take a Step. Are you ready? I don't know what's happening. Let's go. Now, Brandon, your task is to walk across the full length of this rug. That seems pretty easy. One step at a time, Brandon, just like you're gonna do with those dirty dishes of yours, okay? Okay. Whoa! Now, Brandon, are you ready to take another step? Just one. Now you're getting it? Oh, smart. Ready to take another step? Yeah! That was incredible. 
every single step. And now, you've been given the skills you need to tackle all your everyday problems, like those dishes. All you have to do is... Take a step! It's Bible Story Time with Kelly! Hey guys! Hey. hey, Kellen. Um, what are you doing? Uh, I'm washing dishes. Uh, don't don't worry, just one dish at a time. <laughs> hey, but go ahead with the story. Don't let me distract you. Actually, those dishes might come in handy. Mind helping me out with the Bible story today? Sure. Great. Then it's time for a little Bible story sound jars or sound dishes in this case. Our story today is from the book of Ezra which talks about God's people after they returned from exile in Babylon. Now remember, a long time ago, the Israelites were chosen to be God's people and God promised to bless the whole world through them. But the Israelites had been captured and taken away from their homeland to Babylon. Can you imagine how devastating that would be? They must have been so heartbroken. Oh, my heart! But God had made a promise before the exile even started that the people would return home after 70 years. 70 years? Yeah, I know. It. 70 years? It's true, but... 70 years? Yes, the Israelites had to wait for a long time. So long that Babylon got overthrown by the kingdom of Persia. Many of the Israelites had lived their entire lives in captivity. It would have been really easy to feel discouraged. We're never getting out of here. But God is faithful. When God promises something will happen, it happens. God moved the Persian king to allow the Israelites to build a brand new temple for God in Jerusalem. The Israelites returned to their homeland, but it wasn't exactly a dream come true homecoming. The walls of Jerusalem were broken. And God's temple was destroyed. The people had to live in towns outside the city while they rebuilt the temple. Oh man! The temple was a big deal. It was a big deal because it was the place where God would live among them. And they wanted to build it right. It would be big, beautiful, and take a long time to build. So they got to work. <laughs> I'm not sure they had power tools, but they did work really hard. First, they built an altar. Then, they laid the foundation for the temple. When the builders were finished laying the foundation, the priests came in, and they brought trumpets with them. Then more priests, the Levites, came bringing cymbals. They praised God and gave thanks to Him. Even though they still had a long way to go before the temple was finished, they celebrated and praised God after this first big step. They said, The Lord is good. His faithful love to Israel continues forever. All the people gave a loud shout. Hooray! All the people. Hooray! Yes! Hooray! They were so glad that the foundation had been laid. That one step was worth celebrating. Now, remember, it had been 70 years since the last time they were in Jerusalem. 70 years? Right. So while most of the people weren't even alive back then, some of the older people remembered God's first temple 
and they begin to weep. And while they cried, other people shouted for joy. No one could tell the difference between who was shouting or crying, happy or sad, because they were making so much noise. They were so loud, in fact, that the sound was heard from far away. The end. Oh, thank you. And thank you guys for helping me out today. Of course, happy to. Yeah, that story was amazing. I love how much they celebrated the temple. Yeah, and remember, the temple wasn't even finished yet. They had only just laid the foundation when they celebrated so loudly that people far away could hear them. I usually like to wait till the whole task is finished to celebrate. You can do that, but you can also celebrate what God is doing each step of the way. That's so cool. Hey, thanks as always, Kellen. You bet. I'll see you guys next time. Later. You know, I think I'm starting to like this whole idea of celebrating step by step. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, you want to go on the game show again? Play game style! No, I would rather reveal the question! <laughs> oh, what is something that took longer than you wanted it to? Oh, almost everything. <laughs> it could feel that way sometimes. But seriously, it could be uh, finishing your homework or doing chores like washing dishes. Well, or, or even things you want to do can take longer than you expect, like getting good at a new sport or oh. learning how to play an instrument. Yeah, that's why it's important to celebrate your progress along the way and not just once you've reached your end goal. Mm. God can help you find joy while you wait. Hey. I am proud of you, Brandon. Way to go. You've come so far. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, that's all we've got today. I'm Brandon. I'm John, and this was the So-and-So Show. Yeah, it is. Look at all this beautiful, clean I know. dishware. All right. Washing dishes. Best credits ever. <laughs> the chicken! This is a really hot suit. Oh! Uh. <laughs> oh watch it! Oh! It's soup. It's so much easier when you do it one at a time. I can only one leg moonwalk. Just do one leg at a time, John. <laughs>